A bill is headed to the governor's desk that would put more teeth behind Kentucky's animal abuse laws. Bodie Brooks spoke with an investigator who agrees the current law is a slap on the wrist. We do want to warn you, some images in this report may be disturbing. We have so many cases that lead to death that are still considered a misdemeanor. Jai Hamilton has spent 15 years investigating cruelty cases for Lexington Fayette Animal Control. She says on average about 1,600 animal cruelty calls come in a year. In 2023, just 70 cases led to a prosecution. The current animal cruelty law that um, covers torture has very narrow language and it's extremely difficult to prove in court. And that's led to some disturbing incidents that the law can only charge with a misdemeanor. Current animal abuse laws only rise to felony level if extreme injury or death happened on a second offense. The proposal now awaiting the governor's signature would impose a felony charge on the first offense that could result in one to five years in jail. We had a case involving a, a dog named Karma. He had left his dog in his house, had gone away for a period of time, come back, found her dead and dumped her in that dumpster. Hamilton says it's clear the dog suffered for a long time. The pictures, which are too disturbing for TV, show Karma was barely more than skin and bones. This dog, Lila, has a happier ending, now recovered after being set on fire by her owner. Hamilton says if House Bill 258 were law at the time, the owners in both cases would have been charged with felonies. It's a sad reality. I, I will never understand it myself. But I do think that those people should be held accountable. In Lexington, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.